Hi, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Let's try to understand the RESTful API key concept here, right, in this video. Let's try to understand with an example first. Imagine our online library where you can ask for a list of books or add a new novel, updates a biography, or remove an old encyclopedia. RESTful APIs are the librarian who understand and responds to your request in this digital library. All right, so this is one, I mean, basic uh, example to understand the RESTful API. Let's try to uh, understand the key parts of this RESTful API. So in my understanding, I can divide uh, three key parts of this uh, RESTful API. The first thing, the first part is endpoint. It is something like library address or sections. The another key part is HTTP method. And that you can understand like ways to interact with books. And the third part is request response. I mean to say it is something like your inquiry and the librarian answer. Like you are requesting something and are you get and you are getting something as a response answer to your query. So I think these three parts are uh, these three important parts of RESTful API: endpoints, HTTP method, and request and response. Let's try to understand the subcomponents of RESTful API in the next. So as per my understanding, I'm just going to divide RESTful API in three subcomponents. The first component is called headers, right? Is it something like your library card details? The second component, which is body, and I would uh, define it like information about the book you are interested in. And the third is, third component subcomponent is status code. And uh, I will define it something like if the book is available or not, that kind of information, status codes, right? All right, so this is the three important things we already gone by. One is understanding of RESTful API, then understanding the key parts and subcomponents. Let me go through one uh, POC problem statement here. So let's define this problem statement. We are aiming to simulate an online library system. We are aiming to simulate an online library system, enabling user to search for books, add new ones, edit existing entries, and delete them, just like you would, you are doing in physical library. But it, it is, do, I mean, but here you are trying to do through the website or app. All right, so let's try to understand this statement as a POC requirement. So to, to simplify this POC problem statement, I am creating three requirements of this POC. One is a web page where user can interact with the library catalog, the first. The second requirement is a server application that processes information about the books. And the third is a database like the library's bookshelves, keeping all the books data organized. So this is the three key requirement I am deriving from the earlier problem statement. I hope it is clear, okay? If not, please write it into the comments so that I can uh, review my video and also update it later. So please uh, comment and uh, give your feedback also regularly. Okay. Then the next is uh, in system design, you already know that POC requirement, whenever we are dealing with the requirement, we are always estimating it also as a next step. So, and that is called back of the envelope calculation for POC, right? So under this, I'm trying to give you very basic, not in much detail, but very basic idea, how to estimate a requirement. Suppose if our library starts with 1000 books, so make it simple. So that's why I'm just giving you the very small number, 1000 books for each book has details like title, author and ISBN number. We need to add a database of size capable of storing at least this much. Also considering the growth in the coming five years. So this much, I mean, database storage you need or this much size of database you need. So estimate of that way. This is the database requirement. Another is server requirement. The server should handle multiple users browsing the catalog simultaneously. Let's take one number as an example, say 100 users at a time without slowing down. Of course, this number will grow exponentially in coming time. So you should consider in that way, like your system should be scalable enough to accommodate the exponential growth of users, right? So that way you should design or you should uh, think of while estimating the uh, database requirement and server requirement. I hope it is clear, right? This is very simple as of now, so just go by that. Now for making it simple to understand, I'm just going to list microservice for this POC and the microservice are only two microservices, catalog service and user service. I hope it is clear to you, right? 
And catalytic service something like manages the search, searching of a title or book, adding, updating, and removing book entries, right? And user service something like uh, its its work is something like handles user accounts and access permission. To to make it simple, I'm just considering only these two microservices as of now. But of course, in real world, uh, you have to uh, break down further more in this this like user service has to do uh, user profile, user service, and separate uh, service you may need, which is the user authorization or something author. Uh, I mean authorization kind of service, which is primarily deal with permissions. But for simple making it simple, I just made here two service. One is catalog service and another is user service. All right. Let's try to understand uh, the API's requirement because primarily this video is to RESTful API, to, to clarify the RESTful, to make the understanding of RESTful API. So let's, let's lists of API microservices are exposing. And as we explained you just now that we are only considering two services. One is catalog service, another is user service. So in catalog service, we are primarily observing as of now four methods, get, post, put, and delete. The get slash books for listing all books, post slash books for adding a new book, put slash books slash ID, where you are updating a particular book's detail whose ID is you are supplying here. Then another is if you want to delete a particular book, then for that you have a API delete slash or HTTP method you would say API is delete slash books slash ID for removing a book from that catalog. For user, I mean, for user service, we have two API, which is primarily the post API, right? And that API is login and register. So for login, like post slash user slash login, and for user login and for registration, we have a post slash user slash register for new user registration. I hope you can also agree with me that these many API is suffice for this POC. All right, let's move on to next segment, which will deal with data models and database requirement. All right. So for understanding of data model and database requirement, we have a two major data model required here. One is books and other is users. For books, each book record include an ID, title, author, genre, ISBN, and publish date. And for user, each user records includes a user ID, username, email, and encrypted password. And so this data model is primarily uh, give you the intuition how you can create table and what kind of, I mean, fields table must have. So these kind of information you will get from there, from data model, right? Another thing which is very important to understand here is the database selection. But I'm not going in detail here, how to choose the database. I'm just assuming that a relational database like MySQL would fit out our initial needs, providing a structure and easy querying. Later, as we grow in data, of course, we may need to think more mature database and more enterprise level database that may we will consider in future. But for now, to make simple this POC, I'm just considering a MySQL kind of relational database for your requirement, okay? So this much information, like until now, we have already gone through uh, understanding of um, RESTful API key concept, key parts, uh, subcomponents, then we will already discuss problem statement for POC, then we will discuss about the POC requirements, then we will discuss about the back of the envelope calculation for POC. We also discussed list of microservice for POC, list of API considered under these microservices, and then data model and database. So I think for this POC or understanding this uh, API, uh, I mean, uh, RESTful API, this much information is suffice. But to understand the system properly or end to end, we have to consider a few more system requirement and those system requirements I can consider like a scaling factor, performance, real time service and resiliency. I always feel these quality attributes are very important to understand any system, any uh, design, any system requirement, right? So I'm not going to, uh, I mean, in detail all these things in this video particularly. I will explain you after the hands-on of this POC, maybe next to next video, these things. But for now, you are just understanding a scaling requirement is must for your system. And that is, as more user joins, we will add more servers or compute power to handle the load. Similarly, performance, using efficient queries and indexing ensure the catalog can navigate quickly. Real-time service, make sure that everyone sees the update immediately when a new book is added or an old one is removed. How we can do this? We can see it later videos, right? Not now. Resilience means if server fails, another should take over. Just like if a librarian is unavailable, another steps it, uh, I mean, another one steps in to help you, right? That is the same way. So here also in resiliency, if one server fails, another should take over. 
All right. So these are few other system, other than the like uh, whatever the requirement we have listed down. Uh, apart from that, system have some other requirement which I already mentioned. Those uh, system requirement is called quality attribute of your system. So I hope that this much information is is really really helpful to understand what is RESTful APIs and what kind of parts it has, what kind of subcomponent it has. Now I am going to explain you the hands-on POC like through the code I will explain this POC how we can achieve it and in that we can explain you more about the code which we are going to use as a RESTful APIs in my hands-on POC which is the next video next video of this um, in this series right in this playlist. I hope you like it at least this explanation you will definitely definitely give you the intuition how to understand the requirement how to understand break down the problem statement how to derive the requirement what kind of consideration you have to uh, do while understanding the requirement and and all of the above how to implement it let's see in the next video for now thank you for listening my video thank you thank you for completing this video and i hope that you definitely have learned something which will help you in your system design interview Hope to see you in next video with new concept and skills needed for the system design interview. By then, keep learning, keep improving and keep sharing your knowledge.